Welcome to Horse Sense. A little different today. No horses, no dogs, no training. Just Jan and I. Today, uh, we celebrate our 49th anniversary. And a former student from Stillwell Christian Academy, whose name was Steph, wrote this about her today. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. And that's the Proverbs 31 kind of woman. So uh, the writer of Proverbs uh, in, in the last chapter, this is a guy by the name of Lemuel, and he was a king. We don't know anything else much about him uh, other than he wrote this proverb that became scripture uh, about his mother. And a lot of things about a virtuous woman, uh, the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. He'll have no need or spoil. She will do him good all the days of her life and not evil. She seeks wool and flax and works willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ship. She brings her food from afar. And she gives meat to her household and a portion to the maidens. She considers a field and buys it. So you see, industry, uh, entrepreneurial spirit, always up. And in fact, it, it goes on to say that she rises up a great while before day. And that's the Proverbs 31 kind of woman. Uh, one of the things about our relationship is that Jan has always been a cook. Even when we were just dating, uh, she was learning from her mama. Uh, Jan, why do you think uh, y you've been attracted to the kitchen so much all your life? Well, it, because of my mom, when the family would gather, it always centered around what's mom cooking. And we would gather in the kitchen and talk and cook. And I just sort of do that now with our family. I start cooking and everybody comes in and we do a lot of talking while mm. we're cooking. Yeah. You are the centerpiece when it comes to the holidays because all the grandkids are coming in uh, waiting on that food, whatever it's going to be. Uh, you've become famous for your cinnamon rolls and uh, your enchiladas and, and a lot of different things and you've baked them and give them, uh, give them to people at Christmas and in different times uh, of their life. So I know that that's been a big part of your life. We've moved now with the move now at Mountaintop Cowboy Church uh, when we move into uh, our, our new place will be 20 times. We have moved 20 times in ministry. Um, when you think about all that moving and not only that, we you followed me and traveled with me in about 36 states. I don't know how many foreign countries uh, but you worked with me in uh, Australia, in Canada, in Mexico, in Guatemala, um, and, and many other uh, countries. But uh, did you ever think you'd see that much of the world when we started? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hardly ever got out of Paris, Arkansas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. But we have, we've have traveled uh, a lot. But on our 20th move, and this... Uh, this will be the uh, the easiest, and it won't be the last because we'll, uh, you know, move from here to there or whatever the Lord has for us. But uh, the Proverbs kind of woman uh, is the is the woman who cares for her family. Family is breaking down today because the country is breaking down because churches are breaking down. Um, we've seen this over the years. We were in evangelism back in the 80s. Um, I've served as a music director, a principal of a school, associate pastors, bus directors, janitors, pastors, Sunday school, you name it, we've done it all. And um, I, I think Jan has always had a servant's heart in that and never could find her on the platform, never can find her on stage, never can find her in front of a camera. You have no idea what it took to get her to sit down to this. Uh, always behind the scenes and that's what her ministry has always been. Uh, what are some of the dangers that you see, Jan, with modern ministry and young, and young couples in ministry, the difficulties that they may have? Uh, doing things, doing it together, one going one way and one going the other is very hard to pull together when you're, you know, have one mind mm. uh, in what you're doing. That's a great thought, uh, doing it together, and that's what the Lord has allowed us to do these 44 some odd years, but doing it together. Uh, we are pulled apart, family, uh, husband and wife, even in ministry, so that uh, sometimes the wife is not engaged uh, in the ministry. Uh, I think it's great horse sense, though, for every one of us men to look at our wives and to see not just a person of beauty, not just a person who does things well, not just a person who can cook great cinnamon rolls, but who has a heart for the family and is and is even even broken sometimes by 
the direction of, of, uh, of family life or church life and, and helps the pastor to help them. So uh, when, when I say the heart of her husband does safely trust in her, that has been my horse sense book for a long, long time. This is Bob Shelton and Jan Shelton. Happy 49th anniversary to us, and that's Horse Sense today.